That's all true, but I now want to show you where it's going to. If you look at an average person, right, six foot tall, Akka's five elf, so it's on per Akka. If you measure that in nanometers, it's two billion nanometers. That's the height of me, this person, one person. Two billion nanometers. If you look down the size further down, you'll see that the naked eye, Akka Ye, can see 10,000 nanometers. So something goes below 10,000 nanometers, we can't see it. We have to now use a vergroot glass. Look where they are now. They have got to a stage of one nanometer, and they're able to put computer chips and programs and couple that to the internet, put GPS locators in it, into one nanometer. You can only see 10. So I can put 10,000 of those things together, and you still can't see it. One nanometer is so small, I can put it in your medicine, you can swallow it. You won't even know that you swallowed it. It could have a camera in, it could go down your body, it could see the cancer, it could take the photos, it could analyze it, it could send all the results out without doing any cuts to your body at all. Cool. How can I use that in real estate? If I could do that to medicine, what could I do in real estate? Think of your open houses. Think of an open house, if you have a show house, how about Google Glasses? You put Google Glasses on, you walk through the house. Ek stap nou hier die prachtige vierslaapkamer uit en water klip luf hier so en, ek weet nie, riegel daar, nee? Dit is een prachtige kamer, dit is een twee slaapkamer, badkamer. Ek sien dat plakpapier in die mier, dit is een prachtige matte hier so. En die huis is vandag beskikbaar en, wie is dit? Let's see, verkoop die eindom, as jy graag meer van die eindom wil hee, kom kontak my by Let's see by nummer 12345. Yes, yes. There are signals at the moment in the States which they put it on those exit signs at the top, that when you come in, it sends them a text, it sends you a text. You walk in, it says, welcome into my open house or my show house. Welcome into my store. You were here last week, welcome back. You bought a DVD player last six months ago, you probably would like to buy DVDs now, wouldn't you? So I'll send you a coupon. So that sign, no person, that machine sends you a text to your phone as you walk in through the door. It says, the DVD which is on sale is in aisle four, it's avatar number six, here's a 10% coupon, would you like to buy one? Cool use of technology, right? Cool use of technology. Neil kijk vir my so, hy sê, ek moet nou klaar krij, nee, lekker. Articulated naturality web. Some, some application which was in Germany, which I thought would be pretty cool as well. This person says, what if I could see inside a building? So just visualize, you're standing outside a building. You no longer have to go inside to look at the building. You can see the inside of the building from the outside. Not only can you see it, you can see a floor plan. I'm not just saying a piece of line. You can actually see it in 3D with your glasses on. You can say, I want to furnish the place. I want to use my furniture from my offices. The pictures which you took of your offices can be transposed and digitized through the glasses into the space you're looking at. So you've now augmented reality so you can take the reality which you have and the reality which you're seeing and you can blend it together, create mixed reality, and you can see your furniture in the place which you're standing outside looking at the building. Wow, cool. Are we excited yet? I mean, so lots of applications in real estate. Now, most of this is already commercially available. The question is it's maybe not commercially, economically available yet, right? Economically scalable. But look what happened to mobile. Remember the big phones we had in the 1980s, right? Where are we now? Look at the price we had. They look at. So it's just a question of time. They roll it out at a certain pace. And what is the pace? The pace what you and I can afford. <laughs> That's all, right? They don't want to overload us because they want us to buy it. If I rolled out the iPhone 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 in one week, you wouldn't buy all of them. But if I stage them roughly about a year apart, and in between, a market you lack a less for the right? Then you're going to buy it. 